Dr. Cedars House District 19, uh, which is half a count plus. I, I believe all three of us filed for re-election this week, so we'll all be trying to earn your vote for another two or four years. Um, uh, Chair of uh, House Administration and Rules, serve on state government, ways and means, uh, transportation and education appropriation subcommittee. Um, it was a fun week, as has been mentioned. I will probably periodically be complaining about the Senate today. None of that is aimed at Representative Senator Dawson, who do, does do a fabulous job, particularly in his chairmanship <laughs> spot. However, I have some qualms with his leader of the Senate and the way they're operating. Uh, none of it will be aimed at Dan, but there's some frustration level, as there always is up there on both sides. Uh, a lot of bills were killed, um, and some of those I was happy to see go down. I think some of the bills the House has passed have not been uh, the best bills, on the other hand, there's been some really, really, really good bills uh, that did not make it through the process, so uh, that's been disappointing. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave that to Representative Curry uh, to fulfill his role and, and complain about some of those. So the one thing I will say is that uh, yesterday was the REC, the Revenue Estimating Conference, which is the uh, group that, that tells us uh, what number we can use for our budget, so we've been waiting for that because the Revenue Estimating Conference meets in December, they set a number, and then we are bound by that number to develop a budget around that. Then they meet again, uh, like yesterday, and they re-look at the numbers, and then if they were to raise that number for the, for the fiscal year we're in, which is fiscal year 25, uh, we can't spend that money, we're bound by the lower number, but if they were to lower it, then we have to readjust our budget to meet the lower number. Uh, they did lower the estimate for this year we're in, which is already uh, doing pretty pretty well uh, due to a tax uh, uh, some a tax uh, uh, issue that uh, they didn't think the refunds would be as high as they are. So they actually lowered the, the estimate for this year, but they raised it for next year by another $60 million. So that $60 million, that if it comes to fruition, we're not allowed to spend that. So the whole purpose of that is to say, uh, Monday we'll, we'll do what we, the only thing we really have to do every session, and that's pass the budget. And so uh, the House uh, will have their budget targets out, I think, by Tuesday in each one of the areas, be it transportation, capital, scout and human services, education, judiciary, budget, whatever it may be. Uh, we've been working on that, but the real work begins on those budgets uh, now that the REC, the Revenue Estimating Conference, has met. And so we're, uh, we're due to be done four weeks from Tuesday. That's a lot of heavy lift. It'll be about an $8.6 billion budget, and there's still policy issues that are out there, which I'm sure we'll get into. Uh, so it's gonna get a little bit rushed here uh, towards the end, which it always does, but uh, what you'll hear most about in the next few weeks will be the budget and uh, where the money's gonna be spent. 